Hey beautiful souls, thank you so much for being here and welcome. My name is Danielle. So today's pick a card reading, we're going to see messages from their higher self and they meaning your person, the person on your mind, a specific person, you get the drift. So, um, of course I do have Oracle cards as you can see down here already pre-shuffled and selected. It's still a surprise for me, so I haven't seen them yet. I will be getting the uh, channeled messages, of course, and I will be rolling astrology dice and pulling the initial tiles for extra confirmation. And if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, I have some of my readings listed at the top of the description box, the SP love reading being the most popular. And so you can also visit my website too. There is the urgent option if you would like to get your reading sooner. And yeah. That, that's pretty much it. So I have three groups. As you can see, group one, you have the Lightseer's Tarot with this. Whoop, my hands are freezing, so, you know, everything's slippery. Um, somebody said this was could have been Druzy. But yeah, it's very, very pretty and sparkly. Group Two, you have the Ascension Tarot, and I have this point. I can't remember the name of it. I asked um, somebody at a crystal store what the name of the crystal was, and I can't. <laughs> I can't for the life of me remember. It started with a C. So if any of you know what this is, it starts with a C. It wasn't carnelian. So that, that's all I know because I would have absolutely remembered carnelian. It was um, a word that I'm not too familiar with, with crystals. And for group three, we have the Rider Waite with the Labradorite Heart. There's the other side. All right, so those are your options today. And your timestamps are listed in the middle of the description box as well as pinned in the comments section and I will see you guys at your reading. Hey group one, you chose the Druzy Moon with the Lightseer's Tarot. All right, welcome. Okay, so let's see, messages from their higher self. Or what does their higher self want to tell you? That was the original title of this reading. So I guess we'll find out in the description or the thumbnail what I actually title this. Not exactly sure. All right, what does Group One's person's higher self want to tell them? What does their higher self want to say? All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, my hands are freezing. Cold hands, warm heart, right? <laughs> Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups. Okay, right off the bat, I'm getting that your person is having a hard time making a decision here. Like, they're taking their sweet-ass time making a decision. And we have the Four of Swords. Okay, let's get more here. Okay, you're going to have to move, little heart. We have the Devil, Capricorn. Three of Pentacles. Eight, ooh, okay, Eight of Wands. Not taking reversals today, actually. I haven't been in a while, so, and Three of Wands. All right, <clears throat> so the reason why your person, your person's higher self wants you to know that the reason why your person may be taking their sweet ass time here, um, making a move is your person's wants to make sure that they do the right 
make the right choice, make the right move. They are really nervous. They are really in their head about this, especially like you see down here, this person um, with their head in their hands. I feel like, yeah, they're really, if you haven't heard from them, if they're a bit, bit distant, a bit quiet, especially with communication, um, they're really in their head right now. I feel like they, they're stressing out with making this decision. And this has to do with um, emotional expression, you know, them expressing their feelings. This could also have to do with starting something new with you as well. Uh, looking towards the future and beginning something new with you. And how things are going to work out. For some of you, it this involves uh, travel and long, long distance relationships. All right, let's clarify a little further. All right, so with the devil, we have the two of cups. Okay, we have a lot of water energy coming through. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, clarify. Eight of wands. King of wands. Okay, I feel like your person is having a hard time really, um, they're scared of this connection. They're absolutely, I feel like they, they fear this connection in some way. So if your person is having a hard time making a decision, they're, they're taking a long time, or even, you know, they've been a bit distant, not communicating, it's because they are, they're scared. They, they don't know. Um, it's not that... I feel like they're back and forth. I feel like they feel this connection. But um, they're a little bit confused right now. And your person is having a hard time really taking action and really step... Like taking uh, control of their power and taking the power back. And even stepping into that... Um, I want to say leadership role. So I feel like they need to take some sort of action in this connection when it comes to you. It's almost like the future lies in their hand. I feel like their higher self wants you to know that, you know what, they, they have to, they have to conquer this. They have to do this. They, they know it. They have to master these fears they have to address these fears especially if it keeps coming up and it has to do with love and relationships and this is a pattern that they have like a, a habit a pattern a cycle that they're constantly in like they have to figure this out so your higher self wants you to know that this is an opportunity for your person to really step into their power and take control of the situation rather than letting their fears and ego take over. Letting their negative thoughts take over. Clarify the Seven of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. Yeah, there, there's too much going on here. We have a lot of fire energy too. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like there may also be multiple people in your person's head, in their ear. They may be getting, like, asking multiple people for advice, too. And it's very conflicting ideas. So I feel like Spirit is saying, or their higher self is saying, like, hey, look, your person needs to learn not to seek outside of themselves for all of these answers. Especially when it's a lot of conflicting um, opinions. They need to learn to trust themselves and, you know, take action on their own through their own intuition, through their own inspired action, not based off of what other people want or suggest.
I mean, I guess the same could go for us when we watch tarot readings too. And I say we because, you know, I, I enjoy tarot readings as well <laughs> as a viewer and a recipient. Um, so at the end of the day, like we may get like tons of messages from different readers and or, you know, when we receive personal readings, like I myself have received conflicting messages through readers. Um, so I guess, yeah, it's the same for us too, right? Like at the end of the day, it's really up to us to decide, not um, what anybody else thinks we should do or suggests that we do. We really have to sit with um, our own energy, our own intuition and see what is right for us as we move forward. So your person's pretty much going through that type of thing here. And they're scared. They're scared of, they're scared of this connection. I want to pull one more with the devil. It's like they want, they want this relationship or this renewal, this new love here, but they're scared of it at the same time. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're scared of taking that action towards us. And there's a, there's a lot of decisions because there's a lot of other people. There might be other people involved in this. But it's a lot of conflict. And they're scared. Right, what else? What else does uh, their higher self want them to know? Or want you to know? What else does their higher self want you to know? We have the Six of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups, we do have the Lovers upside down, but again, I'm not, I mean, it fits this situation, like, rejecting the offer, rejecting this connection, I mean, either way it works, we have Gemini coming through with the Lovers, which is like the... The devil is like the, the dark side, the shadow side of the lover's card. Okay, so. Your higher self wants you to know that your person. Okay, let me see here. Do you have rejection, abandonment? Fears. Yeah, I'm getting like your person, even though at times it seems like it's going well. Your person needs to learn how to like equally give and receive here. I feel like your person... It's almost like they reject you before you could reject them or before you can become bored of this connection and leave them. That's what I'm getting. Like they have a fear of you just end up thinking, oh, you know what? It really wasn't worth it choosing them, so I'm going to leave. But again, it's like they, they're they scared. It, okay, like you see the singing bowl here. It's being filled with this rainbow and this hand is reaching out. And this girl has her one hand touching it. And, uh, what's that? That would be, hold on, her right hand. I believe that's the, the feminine side, so receiving. Yeah, and this hand's giving, so she's, it's like she's, like, not fully receiving, this so I feel like your person is closed off out of fear fear of being abandoned fear of being rejected and this key is being lit up here by the light so I feel like <clears throat> there is a message in all this for your person to understand on a deeper level they're rejecting love they're rejecting how they feel about this connection they're confused they feel it. 
I feel like this is a very significant connection. And there's a lot uh, for your person to learn through this experience. But again, I feel like they they need to stop worrying about other people. Stop listening to other people. They need to trust themselves. They need to learn how to trust their higher self. Trust their intuition. And work through conquering those fears. Rather than hoping somebody else is going to make the decision for them. All right, so let's see your oracle cards. We have mirror. Okay, so there could be a mirroring aspect. This could be your divine counterpart. We have deceit, 25. Okay, so they're hiding something here. And then we have new life. That's number 25. We have number 39, 39. All right. Could be they lied about this, feeling this connection. Yeah, with the mirror card, I feel like they are learning something here. Through you. And I also, actually, I feel like the two of you may be mirroring each other. So I feel like, since we have the lovers and the devil card here, I feel like they're also showing you something. So if you guys have a fear of being rejected, fear of being abandoned, which honestly I feel like are pretty common fears in love and relationships, like not being chosen, that sort of thing. It's a, it's a pretty common fear. I feel like um, there's an opportunity for you to work through that. Especially if this it seems to be a pattern for you as well. All right. Clarify deceit. Why is deceit here? The Hierophants. We have Taurus. All right. I'm getting that somebody deceived them. Somebody that they're supposed to trust deceived them. It could even be in the, the spiritual community, religious, uh, maybe they're religious and it could be somebody wasn't completely forthcoming and we have the page of wands I'm also getting the message that they're deceiving their higher self like they're they're not trusting the messages that they are receiving um, through their own inner guidance Okay, clarify mirror. We have death, rebirth, Scorpio. Okay, yeah, there's an opportunity for transformation here. And we also have new life. This is definitely a spiritual uh, lesson, like a higher. This isn't like just an everyday, like poo-poo <laughs> lesson. <laughs> it's like nothing meaningless with these major arcana coming through and especially with mirror and uh the death card there's most definitely a change happening in this connection that is being reflected for the both of you let's get one more four of pentacles it's going to take letting go of control letting go of what is happening in your material world as well as theirs 
and completely going within and trusting. So if this seems like a message for you as well, like if you're afraid of, you know, being rejected, you don't know, um, like you're hearing multiple messages, like with the seven of cups with the five of wands, maybe getting conflicting information, conflicting, there's a lot of conflict. It could be that you, your own thoughts and your like you don't even know what is coming through your higher self and what is coming through um your ego or your mind like maybe you're having a hard time trusting your own inner guidance i feel like the message from your person's higher self which may even be a message from your your higher self that um it's going to take really letting go and trusting letting go of what is happening in the physical, what is happening in the 3D. And if you are really reliant on what happens in your, what you can see in your physical world, if you are constantly taking that as evidence, as like a hard truth, I feel like um, with the death card here, this is saying that that needs to change. As well as, like, I feel like this is also a message for some of you. Like, again, with the mirroring. So, if you're, like, if you're sitting here watching this and you're, like, well, that kind of sounds like me. This may absolutely be your message. So, I feel like sometimes our physical world, our 3D, can deceive us. Right? This is all an inner journey. And things... As we shift, our physical world shifts. So it's not so much looking to the 3D or the physical for validation. And I know <laughs> a lot of us were conditioned to, I'd say most of us, if not all of us, I don't know. Depending on where you're at in your journey, um, maybe you're new to all of this. We're, we're usually conditioned to take the 3D as hard fact, like truth, as the truth. And I feel like higher self here is saying, nay, nay, as Bailey, Bailey Sarian, Sarian says, just have that in my head. <laughs> That's, uh, there's more to this. And it's going to take trusting. I feel like uh, a new life is unfolding or there's an opportunity for it to unfold, but it's going to take letting go of that bag and trusting. Same for your person, especially if they have a fear around being happy and being fulfilled in love and relationships, because like I said, I've I'm getting that they are afraid of this connection in some way. They're scared of it. They're scared to let love in. So it's almost like they, they reject the connection based out of fears and out of conflicting beliefs, not only within themselves, but listening to other people as well. All right, so I'm going to grab the message cards. You know what? I think I'm going to stick with the regular messages today. Like the actual message deck. Okay, so I'm going to do what I usually, or what I have been doing recently. Uh, shuffling these up off camera. Um, pausing it so it's not taking a thousand years. And I will see you in a sec. Alright, I'm back. I just took, sorry, took a sip of... Um, some cold brew coffee, you know, the one that you can buy in the grocery store to make at home. And I put too much um, peppermint mocha creamer in it. And it's like, wow. <laughs> All right. So we have, I would do anything to make you smile. Oh, and as I split the deck when I went to shuffle it the first time, I split on twin flames and I don't want to lose you. So that may be significant. We'll see if it comes up again in these cards. I imagine us living together. 
too much has happened. Yeah, that's the fears. If I asked you to stay, would you? Are you still upset with me? Soulmates. I wish you a life of happiness. Please don't take the silence personally. I believe in true love. Yeah, okay, so... It's like they believe it, but they don't believe it. It's like, it's like they're not fully believing it for themselves. I want to invite you over and cook for you. And then we have, wherever you, whenever you come around, I lose my words. Okay, so your person is seeing like, they're thinking too much has happened here. Um, they're being silent right now. I feel like it's nothing personal. It just has to do with whatever happened that they they think is too much. But this person doesn't like you feeling sad. And they wish you a life of happiness. Even if they can't, for whatever reason, give it to you. Like if they don't figure out their fears. Because they know that they have a fear. I feel like they are completely aware. Um... That they're scared of this connection and it's it's not personal it's not you it's them and, and that that is the case like it's their um, lesson to work through here to face but yeah they definitely they feel this connection and I feel like they want a connection like that too like the um, the soulmate connection, the true love. They want that. But at the same time here, it's like they have an opportunity for that through you, but they're, they're scared of it. All right. So that's what we have for messages. For our Zodiac, we have third house Gemini. We have Taurus. Fifth house, Leo, and Taurus again. I'm also thinking, think, thinking, <laughs> thinking number five, the, the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. So strong Taurus. Uh, your person also may, may be very stubborn as well, or it could be your stubborn. All right. Okay. Where did my little initial tiles go? Oh, I have a, every time I go to do something, I have a paper cut on my thumb from cutting wrapping paper. <laughs> Keeps irritating me every time I hit the top of my finger and yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you, you just love to know that. Okay, we have E, O, U, E. P, P, G, Peg, Peggy, N, O, N, sing Egon like um, Ghostbusters. Don't know if that's how his name was actually spelled. E G O N. We have C. I'm seeing ounce. Need some of, oh, we we do have. I want to invite you over and cook for you, and then we have ounce. Um, so that could be into cooking. I'm also seeing once. Once upon a time. We have D, X, W, Doug. We have a blank that could be anything. We have R, R, E, 
Rex I E and Y. Hmm. Red, the number red is coming out. I am, <laughs> I'm seeing penne. Maybe somebody's into pasta. You know what? I think I'm actually drawing a blank for... Okay, we could have Peter. I lied. Okay, <laughs> apparently I lied. I'm not drawing a blank for names. So I see Peter. Uh, Ren. Werner. Dawn. I'm saying ping pong. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> you know what? I think I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, Ginny, like Ginny, G I N N Y. I'm also getting that Penny, Penelope. All right, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm saying group. Regroup, your person needs to regroup. All right, okay, seriously, for real this time, I'm gonna leave it here. So um, if you see anything else that I am not seeing, cause apparently my mind just went blank and I'm having a hard time seeing names, Please, please feel free to let me and your fellow viewers know in the comment section. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, hopefully this message was helpful or maybe cleared something up for you or yeah. Anyways, so that is what I have for you, group one. Thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group two, you chose the, um, whatever the heck this is, <laughs> stone. That's pretty though. It looks like, it actually, to me, it looks like these marks were like burned or etched into this crystal. That's just what it reminds me of. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is though. So starts with the C. That's all I know. Not Carnelian. And with, you have the Ascension Tarot. Let's get into it. All right. So what does your person's yourself want you to know at this time what message what do they want to tell you all right first of all we have the knight of cups the emperor we have aries uh, what are you nine of cups Page of Swords, we have the Six of Wands, the Chariot with Cancer Energy, we have the Five of Cups, and the Four of Crystals. My goodness, that's a gorgeous card. All right. Yeah, the Five of Cups. That's like the perfect <laughs> image for this. Dark and depressing. Um, <laughs> um, the image, not your person. The image. <laughs> okay. All right. So...
Well, first off, I feel like God, this kind of feels like group one. There might be messages in group one for you. Okay, so I will say, I feel like spirit or their higher self wants you to know that they're, they're still really um, new. They're learning a lot. I feel like their ego, like their small self, shadow side, is still still very active here. So that is affecting um, this connection. I also feel like they don't like to lose control. They don't feel they don't like to feel like they're losing control. And with the chariot here. Um, I feel like in some sense, it's almost like they are losing a bit of control here on an emotional level. Like we do have a lot of emotions coming through. With, so a lot of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, with the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Five of Cups. There is like this rejection, like they've turned their back. There's this energy of loss and grief. So I feel like your person is grieving in some way possibly turning, ending this connection or turning their back on you. Or you may have been the one to turn your back on them for some of you. And this has affected them. I feel like your person, like I said, they really like to be in control. They really like to do things very carefully because they are very concerned with their security and safety. They like to I feel like they are scared of the unknown here. Like your per, your person's higher self wants you to know that they are scared of diving into the unknown, um, the unknown territory. And I feel like for some of you, with all this black here, your person could be going through a bit of a dark night of the soul or like a little bit of a depression here after turning their back on you. Maybe they felt they were losing control in this connection with you. But we do see that there is like romantic feelings and there is this energy of wish fulfillment. So it's like, you know, why they turn their back and it's again, like they don't, this is interesting. It's almost like, yeah, I'm getting dark night of the soul because it's almost like there's a battle of the old self or like the, the ego self, the, the shadow side. Um, their conditioning versus their spiritual side, their spiritual self, their higher self. So it's like their higher self is really trying to get through to them and um, shift this whole need for safety, security. Yes, it's important, but... It's like your person is really, really wants to be in control. They don't want to lose control. And for some of you, they feel like they could lose control in this situation. Like if they get too emotionally involved, they will lose control. Okay, so I want to clarify. Why is the five of cups here? Page of Crystals. Yeah, for some of you, they rejected an offer. There was an opportunity and they turned their back. Hmm. Okay, so what else? But we do have like romantic feelings. It's almost like what they desire internally, like what they truly desire within their heart is not the action that is being shown outwardly. It's almost like they're hiding.
Okay, I want to clarify the emperor. Four of Cups. Yeah, I feel like your person doesn't want to lose control. They want to... They're not seeing an opportunity here. They're only seeing what's in front of them. Like, they're so focused on having control here that they're not seeing this little cup in the back with the little cardinal bird. All right, what else? Yeah, your person is really stuck in their ways right now that it's it's affecting their happiness. Like, I feel like they're on the way. They have the opportunity for the Nine of Cups here for what they want, like complete emotional fulfillment and being happy. But it's like they, they have expectations and it's not, um, they need to, it's, it's kind of like, for example, you know, when you have an expectate, well, an expectation <laughs> and, um, of how something should unfold or how something should come to you or somebody should come to you. So when it happens, it's like, well, it didn't happen the way I expected it to. So this must not be it or uh, this is wrong. So you kind of reject it. I don't know if any of you have had that experience. If you have, feel free <laughs> to share um, your experience in the comment section. If you are comfortable, that's if you're comfortable. Um, but yeah, it's like your person has these expectations of how things should be, how things should unfold, or how it should come to them. And it is like unfolding that way. They do have the opportunity for, to get there to the Nine of Cups, but they're they're rejecting any other way it could come. Like they're only focused on these cups here where you know there's there's another option that's being presented to them it's like they're like nope it has to show up this way or it has to be this way whereas the the universe their higher self is like we we have the cup here for you just take it so yeah a little bit of a stubborn energy here all right what else we have the moon Pisces, we have the Page of Cups. It's a lot of pages here. So I feel like your person is just like new on their journey. Four of Wands. And we have the Five of Swords. All right. Yeah, I feel like your person has a lot that's um, deep in their subconscious that they haven't addressed yet. That has to, like, they're holding on to emotions that they haven't um, dug up. There's a lot that's hiding here. And whereas your person's higher self is trying to get them to that destination. But it's like they're not seeing it. They're only paying attention to the illusions. So why is the moon here? I even feel like they're receiving messages through their dreams, whether or not they are aware. I feel like your person's not aware of this. We have those six of cups. Okay, we have a lot of cups here. Six of cups. This could be somebody from your past, your childhood, um, even past life. All right. Yeah, your person has so much emotions that need to be expressed. But again, that control. 
why is the five of swords here? The hermit. Virgo energy. Okay, they're gonna, yeah, your person's higher self wants you to know that this person really uh, has some shadow work to do, some soul searching. And this is why they can't come forward or haven't been coming forward to really open up and express themselves with all the with all of these pages here. This is saying that they have a lot of uh, growing to do. Or ego to dissolve, shadows to face. Oh, excuse me. I feel like, well, depending on how, how old you are watching this, I feel like childhood uh, could have been very significant in this situation. But yeah, your person is really focused on holding on to control. And they're not doing it to be manipulative. It's just that your person, I feel like, is scared to lose control. It's like they have an idea in their mind and that's how it should be. If you know, if you know what I mean, like I have this idea in my mind of how things should go. I have a plan. It's going to happen like this. And when things don't go according to plan, I feel like your person kind of freaks out a bit, loses their mind. But all of this is actually leading them to that nine of cups, their wish fulfillment. It's just they're having a hard time seeing it. And I feel like this also has to do with you. You could be their Nine of Cups, and that could very well be it. I feel like your person does with the Knight of Cups coming up first. And then we have the Emperor. Ooh, I just got, like, tired all of a sudden. <laughs> I keep yawning. <laughs> and the Nine of Cups. I feel like your person is actually holding back their feelings or trying to control their feelings and not express them. They have romantic feelings. All right. So, yeah, it feels to me a little similar to group one. So if it's resonating, you might want to check that out. We have success for your first oracle card. We have number eight, indecision. And we have... There we go with the yawning again. I'm like trying to like hold in my yawn. We have number 35, Loyal Heart. So they could have turned 35 on the 8th of a month or maybe even, maybe even in August. Okay. Yeah, success is very important to your person. And again, like six, I feel like your person is tied to like how... I'm getting like the emperor energy. Sorry, excuse me. I don't know why like your group all of a sudden I'm just so tired. Um, I don't know if your person's exhausted because it's like I'm not usually this tired during a reading. I was fine um, as I started it and all of a sudden I just was like overwhelmed with exhaustion here. So I feel like <laughs> which could be your person, right? Like your person trying to control everything is exhausting, which usually that that is the case. So your person's having a hard time making a decision here. Um, and they see you as having a very loyal heart and they appreciate that and it's something that's very important to them. But why is indecision here? I feel like they want to be successful in all areas of life. But why is indecision here? Ah. Okay. Choosing between love and... They may feel like they have to choose between success, like financial security, like that sort of success, or um, romance, love. Love. 
whereas maybe your person doesn't realize that they could have both. Like it's not like you have to choose. You can have both. They desire both. They can have both. But let's clarify anyways. Okay, clarify indecision. Seven of Crystals. I feel like they're going to have to set their intentions here. With the King of Crystals. I feel like this is saying either way, like your person's going to be abundant, but they need to see it for themselves. So I feel like your person's trying to choose between success and like love or how like things should unfold in those areas. Your person is like really seeing like, yeah, I'm really getting somebody like your person's higher self is like saying that. Your person is somebody who has a lot of expectations and they don't have it to like to be manipulative. They don't have them to be that, but I feel like it could be like their their conditioning, how they were brought up. And you know, being recognized for being successful is very important to your person. But again, it's like the expectations are getting in the way. They don't see that they can have it both. They don't see that the universe is basically handing them exactly what they want. They're not seeing it. They're they're like completely blindfolded here. It's it's available to them. It's like the universe is like okay here it is choose it and your person's like well that's not how I want it to show up and the universe is like but it's here <laughs> choose take take the damn cup <laughs> and uh yeah they're just um really stuck in their head like really stuck in their ways like being like they have their heels dug in the sand like they're not moving they're not budging here so I feel like your person is really, if they are learning a lesson, they are very new to this. They don't fully understand just yet, but their higher self is giving them signs even through their dreams. I feel like it is probably starting in their dreams, so they may even start having dreams about you a lot. I know you're wondering, like, okay, this is success. Why is this, what does this have to do with me? Okay. I feel like both are important to your person. Their higher self is saying, yeah, you can have both. You desire both. You can have both. It's not one or the other. You don't have to choose. You can have, have it all. And um, so if your person has rejected you, even though they have romantic feelings, I feel like your person... Like I said, is very scared of losing control. So I feel like this is now going to lead them down a path where they're going to start seeing signs that remind them of you everywhere. Especially if they have these deep romantic feelings for you. They feel this connection. And they felt it for quite some time and maybe they brushed it off. They rejected it. Uh, the dreams are going to start happening. They're going to start having those dreams. They're going to start seeing your name everywhere. They're going to hear songs that reminds them of you. They're going to start seeing your car that you drive, driving down the street or whatever. Um, your favorite color, <laughs> anything like that. I feel like their higher self is going to start coming forward and they might start uh, to recognize all of the signs. All right, so I'm going to grab your message cards here and I will be right back with your messages. Okay, let's see what we have. First off, we have I've been crushing on you for a very long time. 
Whenever you come around, I lose my words. So that one came out in group one. I am so proud of you. I was completely convinced that I had lost you. I've asked a tarot reader about you. I know that one's hard to see. There's a lot that I haven't told you. I needed to learn how to love myself. I have a play. Let me read that again. I have a playful side. So they're not all uh, business. They do have a playful side. They just need to allow it to come out. Please don't take the silence personally. I wish you a life of happiness. I respect the boundaries you set. I want to shower you with gifts. And last but not least, we have, I don't want to lose you. All right. So I feel like uh, some of you have re set boundaries with this person and um, it could it could be something like, okay, if you're not going to come like fully, don't come at all, like that sort of thing. Like don't, don't come half-assed, you know, that sort of, don't play, don't play with my heart. Um, yeah, I'm getting like, if you're going to come my way or... <laughs> Okay, let me let me think that through again. Basically, if they're going to come your way, um, not half-ass, like, not with breadcrumbs. I feel like some of you are like, okay, it's not just... If... Okay, I'm, I'm completely butchering this. Hold on, let me just pause this and get my freaking thoughts together here. All right, as I was trying to get my thoughts together, um, uh, what an old quote that my coworker or that has been around, my coworker just brought up to me today. He was, um, he was like, "It's such a funny saying." It was, which actually kind of reminds me of this. Like, you can't have your cake and eat it too. I feel like that's um, the boundary. Like maybe your person's trying to come in for a booty call, you know, they want to um, be like a friends with benefits, that sort of thing or situationship. And I feel like for some of you, it's like you're saying, uh, no, like you, you can't have it both ways. Pick one, either show up and let's do this or, you know, leave me alone. Because I feel like you guys know what you want so your person just needs to figure out you know what's going on with them before they come back to you because I feel like some of you may have said like okay you know what you go do you and when you're ready reach out but until then just you know let me live my life and be happy so I feel like, yeah, some of you have set some boundaries with this person. All right, we have 11th house, Pisces. We have Gemini. We have 11th house again, Pisces. We also have 1111, 11, and we have Scorpio. So, yeah, this could be Twin Flames. If you resonate 11, you might be seeing 11, 11 a lot, or your person might start seeing 11, 11, 11, 11 a lot. <laughs> I feel like it's a pretty, I don't know. It's like, it seems like a common sign in the spiritual community. Um, so like I said, I feel like your person's going to start seeing signs regarding you and this connection. And that, you know what? You guys setting boundaries might be the thing that they need to really get clear on what it is they want because so we have I don't want to lose you so it might be like you might be like hey you know what um you might say I want to be in a relationship 
I want long-term commitments. Basically, you guys aren't settling for less, which is, you know what, good. Stick to your values. I will say that. Stick to your values. Don't, uh, there's always room for compromise, but this is not, you know, compromise your values and, you know, wanting a long-term relationship just to have a one-night stand with them. So, you know, stay true to you. Stay true to your beliefs and what you desire. Don't waver just because of how they are showing up right now. If they are showing up wanting like a booty call or whatever, and that's not something you're into, or, you know, if they're breadcrumbing you and then disappearing, coming back and then disappearing, and you're getting sick of it, it is okay for you to set a boundary. You can still love this person and want to be with them and set that boundary. Boundaries are healthy. You don't need to entertain that version of them. Your person, obviously, here, through this reading, needs to figure it out. And I feel like, for some of you, their higher self is saying that they respect these boundaries. And it might be the very thing that gives them that wake-up call. All right, so let's get your initials. All right, we have T... Why I'm getting Tyler L. Do we have an E? Yeah, we have Tyler. <laughs> All right. I'm also getting Taylor L. U. I. Louis. Also getting Lucy, F, T, D, Drift, I, U, O, Lloyd. Even though we only have one. Oh, no, we have two L's. Yeah, Lloyd. We have E, G, Someone has nice legs <laughs> or long legs. We have Y. Okay, I know I'm gonna completely mis <laughs> probably completely mispronounce this, but what is it? A is it a Giro like G Y R O? Here I am with the food, uh, with the food in my tiles again. <laughs> Giro, Giro, you know it's, it's yeah. I think it's Jiro. Please feel free to correct me. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong. And we have I. I'm seeing Luigi. Lou. Guy. Uh, I'm seeing left. Someone's left-handed. All right. I think I'm just going to leave it there. I'm seeing Drew. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So that is what I have for you, group two. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. And I'm wishing you guys all the best. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group three. Welcome. You chose the Rider White deck with the Labradorite hearts. All right, let's dive in and see, does your person's higher self want to tell you at this time? All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles. 
the Devil, Capricorn, the Five of Pentacles, Strong Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Three of Wands, King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, Gemini. It's like the shadow and the light attributes of the Lovers with the shadow and the light. And we have the, wow, so many Pentacles here. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so first message I'm getting for you guys is that they may seem all happy, but they're actually not completely fulfilled. Even though we have the Nine of Pentacles here, they, they aren't. Um, I feel like they are putting on, they're hiding behind a mask. They are putting on a false sense of self here. Uh, they do have some insecurities here. They're afraid of being left out in the cold, like losing, being at a loss. I feel like your person is going through a loss of some sort that they may have I feel like they had specific plans for the future that fell through and they're really going through the ringer right now, but they're hiding behind um, this energy. Okay. And I feel like their communication with you is a little bit cold and it's because they're going through this energy here. There was a plan for the future that fell through, like I said, and I feel like they're having a hard time seeing an opportunity with you or even making an opportunity or, yeah, taking an opportunity that has to do with this connection. I will say that you guys are very nurturing. You're very kind and generous, and I feel like... For some of you, you have, you may already know or sense what your person's going through and may offer to uh, reach out and offer support here. And I feel like your person is hesitant with taking it. It's like they, I feel like your person doesn't really ask for help very often. And I feel like help is being offered to them and they're not, um, they're just not taking it and not seeing it right now. All right, so why is the devil here? The tower. Ooh, wow. Okay, so we have Aries and Scorpio. All right, yeah, your person is good. They are going through a difficult time right now. Like big, this was, this was a lot for your person. It was very unexpected. All right. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? I feel like this change uh, is something that they were dreading. We have the Page of Cups. Yeah, they're a little, they feel small emotionally. Clarify the Page of Cups with the Five of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups. Mm. 
Yeah, I feel like your person's very emotional over this um, this loss. They're not. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys offered them something here. Yeah, for some of you, I, I feel like they... Their higher self wants you to know that they appreciate the offer. They appreciate the help. I feel like you've been there for this person. I feel like intuitively you may know what this person is going through. Like again, I feel like... I'm also feeling like things were going pretty well for your person in the past. Like in the recent past. And all of a sudden like it's like the shit hit the fan. And things went downhill. There were like unexpected... Um, changes like the tower moment happened like things crumbled it it was disaster I feel like it was your person's like it felt like your person's worst nightmare and all of a sudden I can't talk I'm like stuttering here and they had plans for the future like this was leading them to they were excited about the future and things just crumbled and um Yeah, I feel like their communication might be, they're not really in their feelings right now. So I feel like they're having a hard time um, dealing with their emotions at this time. And I feel like you guys have offered them uh, emotional support. Maybe even for some of you, financial support or like some sort of support in the physical uh, to help them and I feel like your person's just like relying on their intellectual side relying on their resources that they have their intelligence to get them through this like they're really trying to figure out what is going on here it's interesting okay so I will say that their higher self wants you to know that you are a blessing to this person even if they haven't expressed it you you're a blessing your generosity is a gift they appreciate how you've helped them or even like emotionally supported them like offered some sort of support they they greatly appreciate that I want to get one more with the devil in the tower. Why is the devil in the tower here? The moon. Pisces. That's a lot of major arcana. Okay. Yeah, illusions. Fears. I feel like the world has crumbled. Or the world as they knew it just shifted I'm getting for some of you your person may have had a, a health scare that might have affected them financially and you offered support like emotional support even so that could be significant Yeah, they, they appreciate you. Others of you, I feel like they are going through a lot um, in their life. And they're hiding. They're pretending it's okay when it's not actually okay. And your person is, uh, they may even be like crying. Um, hiding like their tears. Maybe they excuse themselves to release emotions. Uh, I feel like your person doesn't necessarily like to cry in front of other people or show their very vulnerable emotions or very vulnerable side. Okay, what else? What else does their higher self want to know? 
Actually, before I do that, I want to clarify the levers. Why is the levers here? Ace of Wands. Okay, so I feel like their higher self is actually trying to push them in your direction. They're trying to really bring the two of you together here. <laughs> so, it's like the universe is like offering you to them like, here, be with group three. <laughs> and I feel in some way that your person is aware. Yeah, I feel like you are a total blessing to this person. Okay, what else? They may not like see it like in the physical quite yet, but subconsciously actually for some of you I do feel like they know but subconsciously I feel like they they appreciate you more than even they're aware of right, we have the three of cups the world yeah what did I say the their world came crashing down we have the nine of cups and we have the Five of Swords. All right, so whatever came crashing down, uh, I feel like it was necessary. So whatever happened to your person here, I feel like even though it, with the tower, it may have happened in a very uncomfortable way. And again, it could have been like something health wise. It could have been like maybe they had an unhealthy um, cycle or pattern. Maybe they even had an addiction. I feel like they may have had some sort of wake up call or scare that um, really changed the game for them, changed life for them as well. And um, that cycle is now being completed and it needed to happen. Others of you, I feel like your person went through some sort of financial loss. Yeah, something happened where they feel like they went through a loss. And that things like it felt like a complete disaster, like the end of the world for your person. And I feel like you were kind of like this beacon of light, of hope. You could have even just offered kind words to your person and maybe that's all they needed to hear. But I do see like... I feel like your high, their higher self wants you to know that things aren't over between the two of you. I was gonna say the three of you. I don't. Maybe there's um, maybe your poly polyamorous. That that could be a thing. Yeah, your person's completing out a cycle and getting ready for a new one here. Why is the five of swords here? Death. Okay. So, Scorpio. Yeah, this could have to do with other people as well this loss because said financial loss they could have even won a legal battle i'm getting this could have been like some sort of legal battle that they've been a part of that maybe they paid a lot of like um fees i feel like they won and this is now finished and there's like a celebration so there. <laughs> I'm getting like a whole storyline like um yeah they could have been in like some sort of court battle that they won recently 
that has really taken a toll, maybe even on their finances, emotionally, um, in their life. I feel like whatever, yeah, I'm, I'm getting so many messages now. So <laughs> take whatever storyline resonates. But either way, you were there this whole time, or even just your energy. They could be picking up on your energy and your, again, this beacon of hope, this beacon of light to your person. And I feel like spirit was like, or their higher self was guiding them to you as, as that sign of happiness, fulfillment. So when they were feeling like hopeless, when they were feeling like they were in their darkest hour, it's like their higher self or the universe was guiding them to you saying, look, it's like he, you were in their heart and uh, that's you were something that they or somebody that they held on to in their darkest time. So no matter what storyline you fit with, whether it's like some sort of addiction or court battle, whatever, uh, the main message, the, <laughs> the message remains the same. When they were going through the devil, the tower and the moon, the darkest hour, they held on to you. In some way, it was like you... Even if you don't know it, like you saved them in some way. All right, so we have divine timing. Wow, we have number four, higher power. And then we have number 23, all tied up. So April 23rd may be significant. Somebody could have turned 23 on the 4th. Okay, yeah. So, I feel like your person is breaking free from these chains or these vines. I think they're vines. Yeah, they're vines. May have been all tied up now and things are finally being resolved. And there is the universe, higher self, both of your higher selves, the universe, whoever you believe in, God, doesn't matter, creator, source, is supporting this connection, supporting the two of you, and looking out for the two of you. You guys are supported. Even if you don't feel it at times, when you guys are in your darkest hour, or your person, you, there's always support, there's always guidance. All right, so I'm going to shuffle up your message cards now, and I will be right back. All right, we're back. Hopefully I shuffled it well. I shuffled it before I started your reading, so we'll see. I don't know if I will ever be able to love you the way you deserve. So I feel like that's like the darkest hour when they were really going through it. Especially if they were like... For example, if you resonate with the, the storyline, like your person was dealing with uh, toxic patterns or uh, addictions, I feel like that would be connected to that. I feel very protective of you. If not this lifetime, then the next one. Yeah. So again, I'm getting like these two messages, darkest hour. Those are definitely messages. And that was why I created these messages was to um, be very practical. Like occasionally we have these thoughts. So this is to show you that, you know, they have had thoughts where they were in despair. But again, your person appreciates you. I'm sorry for betraying your trust. Are you interested in someone else? I stay away because you told me to. I don't want to interfere. So if you are interested in someone, somebody else, 
they don't want to interfere and also like if you told them to stay away they're saying like i don't want to interfere i can't face you after everything i said jeez what happened here your person is feeling a lot of regrets It could even be like their own behavior, their own, the things that they've said to you in this connection may have, they could have been learning a lesson through this experience. Especially if you guys were there like supporting them, I feel like your person may have feel like they lost something good. Whenever you come around, I lose my words. So they're nervous around you. I thought a lot about what I want to say to you, but they do think about what they want to say to you. There is a big decision I need to make. Give me time. I feel like this has to do with whatever the, they want to say to you. And <laughs> we have here, I lose my words. I, th I thought a lot about what I want to say to you. There's a big decision I need to make. Give me time. So I feel like this is saying, you know, they're, they're struggling with their words they're thinking about what they want to say i feel like they've like even written it down what they want to say like prepared a speech <laughs> practiced because they want to make sure that whatever they say to you is perfect they don't want to miss anything especially if they've they've betrayed your trust they want to come through and apologize i feel and then we have you have a very specific energy so they feel your energy All right. And I feel like your energy doesn't compare to anybody else's. It's very significant. And it's such a weird feeling when you like feel something like that. Like somebody has and it's like hard to explain. So I feel like if you if you've ever had that where some you felt like somebody has a very specific energy, it's Sometimes it is hard to explain other than, well, that person has a specific energy. And I feel like those of us who have felt that would understand. Other people might be like, what the, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so, yeah, it's, um, yeah, if you know, you know. All right. So we have Ninth House, Sagittarius. We have Capricorn, or sorry, no, that's Leo, just kidding. Uh, we have Aquarius and 11th house Pisces. So Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, and Pisces. Yeah, so that specific energy of yours, they've held on to it. I feel like it's been like the light in their darkness. See, G, I'm seeing grow. So your person's going through a growth here. We have T. Yeah, do we have another H? Or do we have an H? We have growth. We have L, growl, <laughs> we have X, S, E, E, C, S, T, E, N, Ten. I'm seeing crow or crows, so crows may be significant. We have J. I'm getting Jose. I'm also getting like jo so we could have Jocelyn. Josie, we have T, JT. 
Or if you know you're from like the 80s or 90s, JTT, you may maybe you were crushing on him as a teen or a child. We have N, P, A, and I. I'm getting Kristen, even though we don't have an H, but maybe it's spelled like C R I S T N. Getting, yeah, again, it could have Chris. St. Cross could be very, somebody in this connection could be very spiritual or maybe grew up in a very spiritual or religious household. You may have known this person since your teen years, seeing teen, teens. Seeing Stan, Stanley. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Jen, Jennifer. Uh, if we had a U, we would have Justin. Or an M, we'd have Jamie or James. If we had a D, we'd have Portland. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So that is what I have for you, group three. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it like cleared something up for you. Maybe even if you're wondering, like you feel the specific energy and maybe you're wondering if you're crazy. No, you're not crazy. Um, don't worry about explaining that energy to anybody. It, all that matters is that you know. You're not crazy for feeling it. Some people just don't understand and that's fine. Um, yeah, so... There's that message as well. <laughs> okay, so I'm wishing you guys all the best and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.